remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Six homeless women in California illegally occupied a vacant home in West Oakland in November. Now a judge has ruled that they have to vacate that property because they have no legal right to be there. The women collectively known as Women for Housing says that they aren't going anywhere. The judge ruled that they have to vacate the property because they have no valid claim of ownership. The decision means that the women have two days to get out of the house or the sheriff's office can come in and force them out, which is what's going to happen. These women their case is heartfelt, but it's not going to fly. America don't care anything about individuals going up against corporations. They don't care nothing about this David and Goliath type of situation we have here. Whoever have legal ownership is going to be entitled to the possession of that house. Now the women say that just because it's a corporation does not mean that they should have legal ownership of the house. They're saying that they want to buy the house. The women say that they want to buy the house and they are refusing to leave. They're saying that there's an unfair practice out there where corporations are buying these houses in bulk and individuals cannot afford to compete with these corporations. So they want something to happen. They want the laws to be changed. Uh, I think they have somewhat of a case in the future. Right now, it's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen in time for them to continue to stay in that house. They are going to have to leave. This is America. We live in a capitalistic society. It don't care nothing about people. The women's beef is they believe everyone deserves the right to affordable housing in the Bay Area and beyond. Newsflash. This is America, not Finland. When I was in Finland, I was having a discussion with a buddy of mine named Yoro who lives there. And we were talking about the differences in work ethic between the Finnish and Americans. I was saying that Americans have a stronger work ethic because they're rewarded for excellence. They're rewarded for that drive big time. He said the Finnish don't have so much of a work ethic because the government takes care of everything. He said, even if they leave, go to another country, they end up coming back because they got it so good there. He said, if you're hungry, the government will make sure that you have food to eat. If you don't have a place to stay, the government will make sure that you have a home, or apartment or something, uh, so you have shelter. Uh, the government gives you uh, free health care. And you also get a free education. In his voice, he was like, the only difference is that, you know, some motherfuckers don't know how to graduate, you know, so they become career students. But other than that, life is pretty good here. And I got it. So I understand that's Finland. That's why I know free healthcare can actually work in America. 
but they don't want it to work in America because America likes that, having that attitude that I got it, you don't. Nah, 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 look at me in my big house and look at your little house. Or you're homeless. Ha, 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 ha. Americans love one up in one another. I got the big car. Look at you. Ha, ha, ha. Americans love looking down on each other. That's why you have such a huge disparity in wealth. That's why that, that wage gap is so wide. Because Americans love looking down on one another. But where do y'all think this is going to end up? Do y'all think they're going to get put out? I think they're going to get put out. I think they got two days and they out of here. If it happens, I'm sure it'll be on national news and I'm sure I'll be covering it because it'll probably be a huge spectacle because because these women uh, have garnered a whole lot of uh, national attention. I mean, imagine going into somebody's house, going into a vacant house you have no ownership of, no right to, to be there. You just walk in and set up shop and say, <laughs> I ain't leaving. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm going to be watching this case, case really closely because if it works for them, I got my eyes on a mansion in River Oaks I want to take over. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.